Go get your coffee. Joining me today on GHC Coffee Break will be GHC Athletics. Get your coffee. We'll be right back. Looking for these? You drive buzzed. Could be one very expensive ride. First, you got to make bail. Then pay me to get your car back. Your insurance premiums will go through the roof. And my legal fees just keep adding up. All told, it could end up costing you $10,000. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Welcome to DHC Coffee Break. I am so excited to start off the new year at Georgia Highlands College. Um, we're getting st just getting started in our fall semester. And joining me today are two of my good friends and colleagues, um, Phil Gaffney, um, the director of um, the athletics, the whole department, but also the um, head coach at Georgia Highlands for the men's basketball. And Brandon, um, you are the a coach for the girls basketball. And is there other titles I'm missing there? Ac academic advisor. Academic advisor. Um, does every uh, the father of the teams <laughs> does a little <laughs> bit of everything. Absolutely. Um, so I'm very excited to have you guys here this morning. Um, it's been uh, I know last season we had a great season. Uh, we the the team really I think uh, showed very good um, athletic skills, but also I had some of them in my class and I had a great time with them. So both on the, the female basketball team as well as the male basketball team. So Phil, I guess what we'll start with, since you're the whole, the director of all of the athletics, kind of talk about that in general. And then I really do, since we are getting ready for to kick off our basketball season, just talk about those potentials too. Well, uh, uh, Susan, it was just a phenomenal year. We've, you know, five years ago, there, there was just an idea to have athletics. And now Georgia Highland is now the elite athletic program in the state and in, in one of the southeast. So we've come a long way in a very short very amount of time. Very uh, uh, We're fortunate the men's basketball team won their third title this past year. So uh, they've kind of got a stronghold on that. We've been fortunate in that uh, men's uh, 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 baseball first year. Uh, coach Dash O'Neill, our new coach, wins the regional title in his very first year. That was amazing. And he's loaded up again, phenomenal team. Uh, softball, again, baseball and softball are down in Cartersville. Softball, mm -hmm. Melissa Wood done a phenomenal job. And uh, they finished third again this past year and just two darn runs. They, they were winning it going into two games and, and against the champion of the region. So they came in third and they easily could have come in first. So unbelievable job she's done mm -hmm. and that's not even to mention her 100 percent graduation rate all of our teams are phenomenal that's. in that area and then uh and then brandon here uh, another great great job he, he's just an elite coach we're fortunate to have him and his team lost by two points in the last seconds i know in the I was regional, at that game. regional I was in championship tears. so uh you know you won a regional championship last year lost by two this year lost by two a couple years before that so uh, Brandon's kind of established our women's program as top flight in the region as well. So when you put all that together, we're, we're basically there one or two pretty much in every sport. Um, uh, all these championships are coming you know, fast and furious. So we're excited about how well they've done. Uh, and then we're equally as excited academically. Almost all of our kids in all the sports are moving on to four-year schools, big-time schools. Uh, one of our men's basketball players, Terrence Thompson, uh, he just transferred to Wake Forest, okay. uh, which is uh, a great academic school. And of course, it's ACC, so it's big time basketball. Uh, he had uh, went to uh, Marshall University uh, from when he left here, graduated early, got his degree in biology, oh. which is pretty impressive. And he yeah. has a grad year left where you don't have to sit out. And so he went to Wake Forest. So we'll, we'll see him playing on TV for a year. That's so, awesome. Um, uh, and, 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 but the women's basketball have transferred all over softball and baseball. And they've transferred to such places as like Georgia, SEC, you, you know, uh, and, and just all kinds of schools all over the state and all over the southeast, all over the country. So that's kind of what we wanted to do, have that vision of giving people an opportunity and uh, who go to Georgia Highlands to, to, to play athletics uh, in, in northwest Georgia and to have a winning experience and mm -hmm. to graduate all our kids and bring the graduation rate of the college up. 
and, Absolutely. And, and we've done that. So it's, it's, it's exciting and, and it's because we have top flight, flight coaches like Brandon and Melissa Wood and Dash O'Neill that we've been able to have all the success. And, and unfortunately, I don't know Melissa and Dash as well because they are on the Cartersville campus and I'm pretty much sequestered on the <laughs> That's road right. campus. A little bit in Douglasville and a little bit in Paulden. <clears throat> But Marietta and, and Cartersville, I'm not at so much at. But um, I've obviously heard a lot of the both teams um, there. I know the basketball players were very excited because the baseball, the men's baseball team, a lot of them came to to some of the key games, they especially sure did. Um, very supportive. So that's it, and that's what I find about our program so far is that all the athletic programs support one another, and um, to me that's a very ben not only beneficial to the athletes. But to the students, and I still get frustrated when I see empty stands. I'm like, this is free for students, faculty, and staff. Go to the games, people, um, and the community. I mean, we see a lot. I really, and that's what I hope GHC Coffee Break brings is is for you guys out there. If you haven't had an experience, chance to experience any of our teams, whether it's in Cartersville or here in Rome, come out. It is a blast. Um, we have a lot of fun. Um, uh, we have our, our mascot that has a lot of fun too. So, um, you know, make sure you come out and, and join the games because they really are exciting. Um, I'm curious before we get to talk more specifically about the, 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 the basketball, because that is your, your um, area, of course. But um, what do you, or do you, I'm putting you on the spot. I didn't warn you. I apologize. But what do you see in, as the future for the athletics at Georgia Highlands? Well, that's a great question. And anytime we add more sports, we have to go through the, the, the state board now. We didn't used to have to do that. Oh, that's okay. a, a recent rule. And I think really it's Dr. Green's vision. Dr. Green has been a great supporter of the I know athletic program. He was supposed program. to be on our show today, but we had some, or there was some issues that he wasn't able to come. But anyway, he, so he's a busy man. Yeah. But, uh, you know, we, you could not ask for a better president. He's supportive of academics, athletics, anything on campus. He's super supportive of. So we're fortunate to have him. And uh, really, it's what his vision is. It's what where he thinks we want to go. Um, we've talked about. Uh, uh, some cross country, some different sports than what we have. We have those beautiful new tennis courts. We're, we're just redone over at our place that are gorgeous. We have a cross country course that, yeah, that's that about 40 teams come and run on mm -hmm. during the year. Um, so that's beautiful. Uh, so we could easily implement a half marathon, a cross country, a, a tennis. We've talked about volleyball down in Cartersville and on some of the other campuses, Marietta or Douglasville. Or, uh, Paulding. I so, begged for a wrestling. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so it, it would be great and we would like to add that and, and we've had those discussions but uh, really it's going to be Dr. Green's vision and, and where he sees, sees us going and you know there's always you know fiscal questions and what the budget holds and that but yes would I love to see the, the program expand and give different people uh, more opportunities absolutely. I, I just think you know uh, Yes, athletics, I mean, we, we are obviously an academic institution. However, what, whether it's traditional students or non-traditional students, I feel um, e even in the classroom, they seem to excel more when there's um, extracurricular activities. Um, I went to Georgia State from here. I, I was a fully junior college, mm -hmm. we're going really back now, um, graduate and went to Georgia State. and having that um, athletic component going to the basketball then that's what I back then it was basketball now they have a football oh team, yeah which is amazing and they've done pretty well from my understanding <laughs> I haven't kept them up like I should but you know the the interaction and to get the student involvement from my perspective I see higher success even academically um, I, I've had some of the the girl and the boys on um, basketball team members in my class um, online actually and even though I might, don't get to physically see them I did see them on the, the court so that's a good thing so I can see though the ones that really are thriving in their athletic um, potential and what they're doing but also I think it gives them that push academically hey look if I really want to do this I've got to be academically successful and my experience with your department um, working with all of you guys but also Matt in particular, uh, Matt and I worked pretty closely with a couple of students this year, and um, those students really do get that mentorship, that that study time, the, the things that are just as important as the practice times on the court. And I just see a, a better academically um, 
resolve, I guess, that they, look, I, in order for me to stay and do this, these guys are not going to let me slack off. And it's true, and if you, as you walk into the gym, uh, you see welcome to the corral, uh, but you'll also see uh, a better person, better student, better athlete. And that's Absolutely. the motto of the program. And we have it in our locker room when you walk in, and we have it on t-shirts and different things. So better person, we want them to come. We're mentoring these kids, and we want them to grow into great citizens. And then we talk about better student, and, and that's, you know, hey, we want you to do really well. This is why you're here is to graduate, go to a four-year school and graduate there. And then better, uh, you know, better athlete is last. And we do that because we want them to see where athletics comes. It's behind being a better person, doing the right thing, community service. It's developing as a human being. It's behind a uh, acad academics and getting your degree. And it's for a reason. And we constantly talk about it. And Coach Harold does a great job mentoring his girls. It's the same way. We know we're not just preparing them uh, uh, for, to play basketball, but preparing them for life. And we really take that as an important aspect of, of what we are, what we teach. And I think I, I see that, like I said, from the students that I've had in the classroom. Um, for the most part, you know, if they get behind, there's a reason and they talk to me and we can work it out. Um, the athletes are very good, and I'm sure that's coming from you guys in your department, saying, you know, make sure you communicate with your teachers. And the ones that don't, as you said, well, look, if you're not going to keep up this part, then they're the athletics. You're going to kind of lose that part, too. And we're actually held to a higher degree than the, uh, you, know, you think of the four years, the, N the NCAA is like Georgia Tech. Right. Or the NCAA or NAI schools like a Reinhardt, where our, our academic requirements are actually more difficult for them. So our mm -hmm. kids in the fall, what they have to pass is more difficult than what a kid at Georgia or Georgia Tech has to pass with a GPA. Oh. So we're held to a higher standard. And so if you don't cut, cut it and do what you're supposed to do, you're not going to be around. <laughs> you're going to leave real quickly academically. So uh, we take that seriously. And uh, Coach Harold and I, I think every year we've been here, we haven't had any academic casualty. Everybody is, has gotten through and done what they're supposed to do. And because uh, that's what can happen at, at the break, at the Christmas break. A lot of schools you'll see, you know, three, four, five, six kids will be gone because mm -hmm. they didn't cut it academically. And at Georgia Highlands, we, you know, we keep our same team because we want them all to be here. And so that's what, and, and it's kind of the carrot and the stick. If you do well academically, you know, you hang around. If you don't, you're gone. So that's why we need to really reinforce the importance of academics, not only for them in the long term to get to the next school, but you're not going to be around, you know, three months from now if you don't do well. Well, and, and to me, I'll look at the big picture, NBA, I don't care what, what national league it is, basketball, baseball, football, whatever, there's only a select number of people that are going to actually make it to that level. And if they're not prepared academically, when they leave us and then, the, like you said, the four-year institution, I, I like the, that motto, a person first, a better person, a good person. Um, we need that, you know, the academics, absolutely, because every one of them are not going to be nationally, you know, Hawks players, okay? Nope, nope. <laughs> Even though that might be their dream, and you never stifle that dream. Mm -hmm. But we know that there's only X amount of people that are going to make that. Absolutely. So you've got to have that academic backup. Um, so I like that, that. I really do like that motto as a professor, too. Um, but like I said, I also like the model that the eth um, athletes, athletics does help improve those other things. Um, Absolutely. Sportsmanship, um, service. I, I've noticed that you know all the teams are very involved in some kind of service throughout their their. A career here at Georgia Highlands are involved in something which I think is absolutely um, amazing and wonderful that it's not just like you said the athletics how do you be a good person um, what are you going to do when you graduate from here no all of you are not going to be MBAs we, we want you to go for that and yeah heck that's what you strive for but you also got to be that person and have that academic one of the things I'm most proud of is I've had seven guys play pro basketball but every one of them graduated from my school and then went to a four-year and graduated the four-year so that when they finished up they had a degree in their pocket back pocket because as you said say you're lucky and you play six or seven years mm -hmm. uh, eventually you have to do something else. michael jordan eventually had to do something else. now he bought a team <laughs> well, yeah but he had to do something else <laughs> and just piggybacking on the service what you talked about uh coach harrell and uh um 
his women's team, my men's team last night. We went around the college. We dug up a lot of old T-shirts. Coach Harrell had a lot of old sneakers, not old sneakers, but sneakers, beautiful new sneakers that hadn't been used, shirts, shorts, all kinds of stuff. And what we did is uh, uh, the hashtag Houston Strong they're doing down in Houston. Yes. And uh, if you look on Twitter, Twitter, we put together a, a big package to send. The coach at University of Houston said he asked all the colleges around the country, please send us your stuff. We're going to be the distribution center. Send it to the University of Houston. We're going to take it in and give it out. And so last night, that's what we did. We had all our kids get together, and we got all the stuff out. It's shipping out today. With the, of course, we have the great disaster, the, uh, right. the floods and the hurricane. And, in Houston, Harvey. So um, that's one of those service things. All those kids are now took part in putting that together and packaging it up and sending it out. And, and then we talk about what's the impact of that, of how now you're impacting all those people by giving all this stuff away and, and putting it. And so it's great. Hold that thought. We do have to take a commercial break. Get your coffee. We'll be right back. My college offers classes that meet my educational and career goals. With opportunities outside the classroom. Where the faculty know me by name. My college can prepare me for my career. I can earn an associate's degree and transfer credits toward my bachelor's. My college is a state college within the University System of Georgia. My college is affordable. It's close to home. My college has online opportunities. It's where excellence begins. We are. We are. We are GHC, Georgia Highlands College. Welcome back to GHC Coffee Break. I had to interrupt you. I'm so sorry because I, I do want to piggyback real quick and then talk specifically about the men and women's basketball team. But um, the service stuff, um, yes, the Hurricane Harvey um, is really having a big impact. We still don't know um, what else is going to happen because it's that system's still not totally finished, I don't <laughs> think. And we're getting a little bit of that now here, not, of course, what they're getting. But um, the, the fact that y'all did that, um, and, and continue to work in the, the fields of, of helping people is very critical, I think. And, and, and yeah, we're, and it's great for them because they're the ones who get a lot out of it by giving back to the community. Mm -hmm. and, but we actually do a ton of community service, whether it's at the soup kitchen, whether it's unloading uh, uh, boxes of flowers. We did one year for, uh, for uh, the developmentally de uh, delayed, we had, they had a, a big thing where we went and did that. Uh, Brandon's kids, Brandon may want to talk about, he's done a ton of community service, his girls all over the place. Uh, I mean, we've worked with uh, 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 the, the Dream, I mean, it's unbelievable. I can't think of all the things. It's, we, we've done just uh, Boys and Girls Club, basketball tournaments. Uh, Brandon, what are some of the things your girls have done? <clears throat> well, we've done some mentoring programs at East Central. Uh, we've done some, some basketball. Uh, one of the, I guess, most one of the things I, my girls liked most last year was we uh, we got involved with the Toys for Tots distribution center. So um, we actually, our kids are in the warehouse pushing the buggies around, distributing the toys oh, and, cool. and separating all the incoming toys by boy and girl and age range. And, and then they got to help uh, put together the, the wish list so that when Okay. The people come to pick up the toys. They they put together their wish list. So um, it was three or four fairly well, half days, fairly long days. But uh, my kids really enjoyed that. That's awesome. Salvation Army is a big thing. Yeah. Miracle Kids. There's just so many. We could go. All of our teams all get very very involved. Mm -hmm. And that, to me, that's impressive. I mean, it really is because I don't know that other schools do as much like that. They do. I don't know if they do as much, but they try to do it, and, okay. and we, we take it seriously. Mm -hmm. Well, and that's what I appreciate, especially coming from a human service perspective. I mean, that's my, my, my major background, of course, is human services. I just like the rest of the stuff. Um, now, let's talk a little bit more. Let's get specific about our basketball. Let's get serious, because it's coming <laughs> up. So um, I don't care which one of you start, but let's t talk about your teams and what your expectations and hopes are this year. Um, well, so I'll start, I guess. We're, uh, you know, I really like our team so far. We're two weeks into school, uh, but we had we had a majority of our kids on campus this summer. So uh, for that for those freshmen, it was a really good time to develop, uh, work on some skill set, get a little stronger, work on some weaknesses. Um, 
But we are fairly young. I mean, we, we have three returners, but really only two oh, wow. that played any significant minutes last year. Um, and we we picked up two transfers, but the rest are freshmen. So we're going to be pretty young, um, but a good young. I, I, you know, it's it's a it's a group. Sometimes being young is good. You don't you don't understand what your limitations are. So yes, I agree. Um, really like this group so far. They're working hard. Uh, we're we're excited. We're we're ready to get going. Awesome. We're just going to try to build on last year. You know, we had the 56 game winning streak over two seasons. Oh, I know. And that was amazing. We were 32 and one, and we actually went to the tournament and uh, as a third seed and uh, just got beaten in the Sweet 16 and very upset. We lost to a team. I we remember. Had, we had beaten by 43 points, and uh, and then we, you know, our, I think our guys looked past them to the next game and. Uh, you know, a guy got beat by one, played terrible, and, and if you play bad at the national tournament, you go home really quickly. So we're just trying to build on that and build, you know, we've been ranked pretty much in the top five the last three years, and we're just going to keep trying to build on that. You know, we've had two Final Fours and a Sweet 16 uh, the last three years, so we're, 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 we're hunting for that national championship. We had like seven guys uh, go Division One last year, so we, you know, Brandon has three back. We have one back from last year, DeAndre okay. Bernard from our 6'8 kid from oh, Canada. Wow. And DeAndre had scholarship offers to three or four Division One schools, but he they were low Division One, and he thinks he's a, a major Division One. So he's going to come back and, and try to snag a major Division One scholarship. So, um, and that's great because he'll graduate on time and everything, and beautiful. So we're, we're glad to have him back, but he's going to have to be a later, leader because he and uh, he's our only returner. So it's a brand new team, and we generally only have one or two back every year. We try to push everybody on if we can right. after a year. Uh, all the qualifiers can go on for after a year. Um, and we lost two really good ones. Kevin Davenport signed with Tubby Smith at Memphis. So oh, we'll see him on TV okay. a lot this year. And uh, he's the tall one. And little Tyleek Evans. Uh, oh, gonna miss Tyleek. He graduated as well. He was and in my class, one of my classes. He was. And uh, he's at Savannah State now. Yay. So we'll be able to see him a little closer. Um, so we're just glad that all those kids graduated and moved on. We're excited. And, and this year's team, it's all brand new, but uh, is, I haven't had as much a chance as Brandon did. Brandon had his up here over the summer taking classes. So I, a lot of ours, this is the first time I've really been around them these first couple of weeks of school. But uh, they seem to be nice young gentlemen, and, and there is some talent there. So um, we're just going to try to try to keep it going. Okay, and I think it will. I, 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 I was at that game and how heartbreaking it was, and I... <laughs> There, I still say, yeah, I'll, I'll let you acknowledge that there was some bad playing and maybe not as serious. Like you said, they looked beyond it. But there was also some, some bad calling and stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I still say that. Um, but at the same time, I, losing sometimes something like that when that was what, there is a lear lesson learning. Absolutely. I think we were humbled a little bit. We learned, and if we learned from what we did wrong, and I can tell you, I, I did a very poor job of, of preparing our team for that game. So um, I can tell you I've learned from, from doing such a poor job how I can be better. And, uh, and I deviated a little bit from what I did the first two years we went to the tournament. And you just have to live and learn when, when you make mistakes. You just try to do better next time and learn and get better. And I think Nick Saban, the Alabama football coach, said, never waste a failure. Yes. Never waste a failure, and I think what he's saying is, boy, when you screw up, just try to learn from it. And even though we were 32 and two last year, that last game was was failure, you know. So we, we, you need to learn from it, and I, I can tell you, I have. Well, I I, I thoroughly enjoyed. I got involved uh, more in the basketball season this year, and. I had a, a blast both with both the female and the male team. We can't thank you enough. What, what you and Don and Aaron just unbelievable job. The, the the how wonderful the cheerleaders were. It really added to the whole ambiance of the game. You know, when you walk in and there's no cheerleaders there, it's kind of. But when you walk in and they're doing a great job, and you guys throw so much energy and passion into it, <laughs> and we're laughing just watching you guys <laughs> over there because you and Don and Aaron are just having a ball. Yeah. And, uh, so, uh, and I like I like to pick on there. There is a couple of referees that I, I'm comfortable with, and they're, they're they're more laid back. They're they're good and they're they're fair, but at the same time, they're not like you know. There's some that have a stick up their back, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but um, 
there's one in particular that uh, he'll he'll look at Donna and on his I'm watching you, you know. And, <laughs> and when and I'm not as good as Donna because she knows the game better than I. I don't know the game as well. I think somebody's walking and they're not, and then they do, <laughs> do they do walk and I said that's the walk that looked like what that was anyway. But Donna knows, mm. so I follow her lead, and uh, she'll call him on it and. Uh, I just follow her and go, yeah, that's right. You didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> but Donna's very, Donna coached basketball. Yeah, she's coach. so she, she knows. knows. But, but we sincerely thank you, Brandon and I, because it, it's, it, it's just wonderful. And, and the great job you did, the great job the girls did. We're just very thankful that, that you come to the games and, and do the job that you guys do. Well, we had a blast, and, and uh, by the time that sh the show airs, we will have um, our, had our, our tryouts for cheerleading. And so we're expecting another good good year. Um, I, I really am tickled that we were able to do that, and that we did have some really good involvement last year. Um, just like you guys, it was for me that was new for us last year. Um, Donna had coaching experiences with with basketball, but not cheerleading. And Aaron and I—I I mean, I was in the pet squad. Can you imagine that <laughs> <laughs> in high school? A couple years ago. Yeah, a few years ago. Um, but um, so that that was fun. Um, we we do hope that we can continue to support you guys um, effectively. I think that um, we we really did. They had a good time. So thank you. Uh, we really appreciate the support that you guys um, and David. Um, I'm going to miss Coach D this year. Um, I think he moved on. And, and Matt, you mentioned working with Matt. Matt also has a new position. So, uh, so yes. Here? So, uh, no, at another school. He's gone? Matt is gone. And, uh, oh, and Demetrius is gone. So we both had to get new assistant coaches this year. So, yeah. So that's, that's new as well. Um, Coach, you want to talk about who you hired? Yeah, we, um, <clears throat> we hired Shakira McClendon. She was actually our point guard our first two years. Awesome. Uh, uh, that we started the program here at Georgia Highlands still holds many of our school records. Um, came in as a, and, and started the program and, and won 50 games in two years. Uh, just a overachiever. She, she's played at every level, Division One, Division Two, Junior College. So um, we're we're happy we're happy we're excited to have her. She's doing a she's getting settled in now, but she's doing a really good job and she's. She's energetic and enthusiastic and eager to learn and just, you know, just all of the things that, that you want your assistant coach to be. So we're, we're super excited. Okay, well, I have about one minute, but tell us briefly about yours. Well, we hired a guy named Greg Sheefin, and he's uh, from New York State, and he's wonderful. And the funny story about Peach, when you walk into our athletic department, you'll see on the wall a basketball and a softball photo. And Carly, we hired Carly to be, you know, who knew five years later, Carly was an athlete in the picture, uh, uh, third baseman, and we hired Carly to be our uh, assistant softball coach this past year. Wow. And Peach is in there, you know, shooting a basket. And we hired five years later, we hired Peach to be the assistant basketball coach as well. So it's kind of weird how all that came full circle. Well, that's the mentorship that I think we have at Georgia Highlands and in our athletic department. And I hate it. We could go on for another hour, but we'll be back with GHC Coffee Break. The average text takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds. Well, we're almost done with GHC Coffee Break. Had a great day today. Our season, do, I believe, starts in November? November 1st. November 1st. I can't wait. And, um, I'm excited and appreciate you guys for coming today, and I appreciate your athlete, athletes in general, but also what you guys do. I think it really does add to the academics, and the academics adds to the athletes. So thank you very much. Until next time, we'll see you on GHC Coffee Break.